Hey everyone, it's Miss Deb, and today I have a quick little review video. As you can see, we are gonna be reviewing how to add fractions and how to add fractions when we have mixed numbers. Now remember, when we're adding fractions, we get to add fractions with a common denominator. So let's, for example, have two eighths plus three eighths. We don't have to do anything but just add a cross. Okay, our bottom denominator, the eight right here, remains the same, and we just add the numerators. So two plus three is five. So we get two eighths plus three eighths is gonna give us five eighths. That's basic how to do our adding with our fractions. Now our mixed numbers would be something with like two and one tenth plus six and three tenths. Tenths, not sevens, tenths, silly. Okay, and we'll get eight and four tenths. Okay, we're gonna just review a little bit of how to do this and what it looks like. And also, um, being able to add them different ways. So let's get started. So for our first problem, we have three elevenths plus six elevenths. Now we know that because we have the same denominator, our denominator is gonna be 11. And all you have to do is add those numerators. So three plus six is nine. So we get nine elevenths. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now we go into problems like the following. Let's do three fourths plus three fourths. That's gonna equal something. Well, we have common denominator, the same like denominator, so it's gonna be something four, but three plus three is six. So we get six fourths. And this is considered to be an improper fraction. Remember, improper fractions are when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And when that happens, we have to turn this improper fraction into a mixed number. And how we do that is basically, I'm gonna split the six fours. I know that four over four is gonna give me one whole. And how many do I have left? If I have four fourths, which is a whole, I'm gonna have two fourths remaining because that's how much I have left. I have four fourths plus two fourths will give me six fourths. So I split that six fourths into one whole and two fourths left, which means that I get a total of one and two fourths, which I can break down and divide the numerator and denominator by two because this is simplifying and get one and one half because two fourths is really a half. So either one of these answers would be correct. This could be considered correct too, but we can't always answer in an improper fraction. So when that happens, split it in half, get your whole number and the remaining leftover that you have and see, well, what is that new mixed number gonna read? Can you simplify it any simpler? One and two fourths, I simplified into divide that by two and I got one and one half. All right, we're gonna just do a couple more problems. Like I said, this was a very simple little review. You guys did really well with adding and subtracting fractions in the classroom. So now we're gonna move on to adding mixed numbers together. And this wasn't bad at all. I remember you guys did really well with this. So I got two and eight twelfths plus seven and three twelfths. Remember when we start, we're gonna add our whole numbers and you're gonna get nine. Then I'm gonna take this eight twelfths and I'm gonna bring it down and make nine and eight twelfths. I'm gonna bring down this three twelfths. And of course you can cross out like we did in the classroom, all that stuff. And now I can go ahead and solve. This nine I'm gonna bring across over here because there's no other whole number. Remember there's like an imaginary zero in front of that three twelfths. So this nine gets brought over. Now all I have to do is add eight plus three, which is 11 and put it over 12. So now I got nine and 11 twelfths, okay? And we're gonna do one more quick problem. But I'm gonna set it up a little bit differently. We do our problems a lot vertically, 
I'm sorry, horizontally, but now I'm gonna solve it vertically, which looks like this. Five and three eighths plus three and four eighths. Okay, when you get this, you can either rewrite it horizontally out like we normally do, or you can still add it this way, which is not a problem. All you do, you can split this down if you need. Five and three is eight, and you know that our fraction is going to be over eight. So four plus three is seven. So it's gonna be eight and seven eighths. All right, guys, this was just a quick little review on how to, on how to add your fractions and add mixed numbers. Until the next video, bye guys.